Hello everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome to another episode of Modding Star Wars Battlefront 2. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at an expansion on a mod that I've featured previously in this series, uh, and that is Battlefront Extreme. Uh, this mod is an expansion, sort of, uh, an add-on to the Star Wars Conversion Pack, and in fact it requires the Conversion Pack, which comes with the 1.3 mod, both of which are required for this. Um, this mod has a lot of really awesome features, as you can see, we'll just sort of scroll quickly by the changelog. I am going to check this out in-game once we've finished installing it, but for now, just get ready to download the file. I, however, have already downloaded the file, so if you'd just like to go right here to your executable that you've downloaded and double-click on it, you will get this message. Click Run, and just wait a few moments for it to start up. As you can see, you have the Star Wars Battlefront Extreme installer here. Hit next, agree to the licensing agreement. Next, uh, you could take a look at this. This this shows a lot of the changes, um, if you're interested in that. And then, yet again, we have to change the installation directory, just as we did in the last video. Uh, this is very important, as if you use the Steam version, or you do not have the default retail directory, it will install the game in the wrong spot. So I'm just gonna go ahead Go over to my Steam, Steam Apps Common, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Game Data, and click Next. Now let's just wait a few moments for this game to install. It will not take very long, and we'll be done this in only a moment. And there we are. It is actually done. And as you can see, uh, all you have to do is choose the BFX Clone Era or the BFX Civil War Era on any of the original maps. Uh, there's an uninstaller located in that directory, but uh, that's not what we're going to really worry about now. We are actually going to jump directly into the game and take a look at spotlighting this mod. Hello everybody, we're here in the game to test out Battlefront Extreme. So let's just take a look and see what we got here. Right, so if we take a look here at some of the maps, we'll notice that there are all the original conversion pat maps, as well as a new option called BFX, and this is where the features in this mod lie. Uh, it allows you to keep the default game, as well as using the mod's features separately. So let's take a look at a conquest on the first map. We will also just note that this is uh, something that's only applicable to the default maps in the game, so it's not going to be on any of the maps added by the conversion pack. However, all of the original maps in the game will have VFX support. So I'm going to add a map to my lineup and launch the game. Alright, so here I am in the game, and the first thing you're probably going to notice is the increase in uh, texture quality for a lot of the skins, and indeed a lot of the weapons in the game, right? So, uh, things look a lot nicer in this. They've been improved in Ono oh, Um There's a lot of changes in this, and I'm going to try and talk about them when I'm not dying, but it's going to be a little difficult. Uh, so the first thing, uh, of course, that we talked about is the different mode available. Um, there's BFX Conquest, Assault, uh, other things, and there's also uh, online available for this, although I don't know how many servers are going to be running BFX at this time. Uh, again, this is a fairly old mod, so who knows what happens. Now we can also see how my grenade just flew there. Did you watch that? Yeah, uh, the grenade actually, if we click and hold can be charged to increase the range that it fires. So let me just uh, go here. Uh, I'm actually going to play as a Jedi here. This guy, because there is actually some Jedi changes. The first is to blocking, which you'll see doesn't drain my stamina over time. It actually drains it per uh, blaster bolt deflected, which is a nice balancing change, uh, making blocking a little bit more viable for Jedi. Especially since you're going to be getting into a lot harder hitting blasters, since every single weapon is sort of improved in some way. Uh, another thing, too, is of course the changes in powers. Oh my! And the ability to charge force powers. So I can actually click and hold force push here if I actually had the opportunity to. And you'll see that shockwave because I, I charged it and it actually ended up killing the enemies. Every Jedi in this has four force powers. Uh, so this guy has force heal. I believe that only works on uh, other units. Uh, saber throw. Uh, the only the only guy that doesn't have uh, four force powers is Pilot Luke, who I believe gets grenades. 
Which, I mean, makes makes sense with the context of, uh, like, the character in the timeline. And I'm sure a Jedi with the grenades would be actually fairly useful, so... Yeah. As you can see, also, a lot of the damage is uh, higher for all the weapons, and the bullets travel faster. They also travel farther, so on longer ma or bigger maps, you can actually shoot across Hoth, and the weapons won't just dissipate to an invisible wall. So let's sort of just deal with this. And I believe that's everything that I need to do with uh, Jedi here. Let's just test out uh, heal real quick. Uh, hello. Have a heal. Yeah, that works just fine. So your Jedi can be a more supportive leadership-based role, which I think is a nice change. And, oh no, I died. Oh, that wasn't what I expected at all. Uh, award weapons are also gone. Uh, the weapons that you get are fixed, but you can still get awards. Uh, this is just a balancing reason with the game. So I'm going to be the Jet Trooper to show off a change that's been made to the jetpacks. Now, uh, watch the jetpack. Oh, look at that. That's that's very nice. You can also see there's been some weapon changes here. I have an EMP grenade, which is, uh, I believe, a new kind of grenade. I'm sure that's a very powerful grenade, so I'm going to cook it up, throw it nice and far, and uh, take that guy out. We'll see, I also have a bolt caster similar to the Dark Trooper, uh, which again, can be charged. But I also have a, I believe, a carbine. Oh, thank you. I have a blaster and a bolt caster. I thought I had a carbine, I was probably mistaken. But the changes to the jetpacks are good, uh, both the animation and just the uh, the way they fly around. Uh, there's also new effects on what the grenades look like. As you can see, that's a nice new looking grenade there. EMP. I believe that works on tanks as well. And the of course the lightning effect that the Dark Trooper previously had with the Bolt Cracker that's now shared with the clone jet trooper is a lot better. Uh, as you can see, it's not so weak. A lot of the blaster impacts are actually a little bit more satisfying than they were previously. There's also new additions to different planets. Um, oh, actually, quickly to go back to the uh, jetpack thing. Over here is the clone commander, too, who I love the changes to. Uh, the artillery that he had in the conversion pack has been removed because it was overpowered. and It was a little bit jarring to use on planets like this anyway. But the uh, abilities that he has are improved to make him a bit more of a field commander as opposed to just a uh, sort of a guy who stands in the back. And of course the blaster bolts look absolutely amazing. And oh no, I've been attacked by someone who's stealthing. Uh, it's a good segue into the stealth changes. I just want to jump back to the jetpacks really quickly though. Uh, there is a jetpack change. They last longer but take longer to recharge. So let's, uh, let's segue into the stealth changes. As you know, the conversion pack added stealth elements to the game that were a lot more powerful than the stealth elements in the previous game. And one change to that is that uh, stealth lasts longer, about 20 seconds, uh, if you have the uh, full stamina bar. And it doesn't blink as much, making it a lot easier to sort of get around enemies. As you can see, I only blinked about once there while using it. Uh, and again, this character has a carbine. There's also uh, something else I'd like to show you with one of the regular units, so I'm just going to go into this room and do some insane fighting. Since I am losing by quite a large margin. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's also starfighter changes. I don't think I'm really going to go into them. They're faster. They have shields. They... They look a little bit better, I believe. Just, just a slight texture increase. Um, there's, there's force powers changes too, but I'm also not going to fully cover those. You can, you can check them out for yourself. Um, but I think the sharper vehicle stins, especially the starfighters and stuff, is a, is a nice addition. Uh, the blasters also have a much better impact, as you can see. It's a nice change because, uh, again, because of the age of this game, a lot of the graphics and the GFX looked a little bit weak to us. The support classes uh, for all of the things that were in the other one, by the way, have been replaced. And I'm going to show you that once I'm done showing you off the melee attack, which, as you can see, is a knife. It's the secondary attack of whatever your primary soldier is. So the droid, clone trooper, whatever. It's a melee attack. And it's actually very strong. 
It's something this game, again, was missing just due to the age of the game itself, but uh, nothing we can truly blame the creators for, of course. Uh, there's been some lightsaber changes, and stamina changes, actually. We have a lot more stamina, but it drains, or it regenerates a lot slower. Meaning that uh, you can sprint for longer, but uh, once you sprint, it's going to take you a bit longer to recharge that sprint again. Let's get a fully charged up grenade, throw it over there. Let's do a little grenade, see how that's just nice and close. Adds a lot more strategy to the game. There's also dual pistols. I believe that uh, Bobo and Django Fett have those, as well as uh, one class. I'm not sure what it is, but if we go to the... I believe it's the Clone Commander, yes. That was originally a support class. It's now sort of a heavy... Or is it this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two... So I believe it's this one right here, the Repu what's, what's now the Republic Commando, was more of a support class in the past, and now it's like a, uh, a very heavy, heavy fighting class. So it's got a wrist vibro braid, sonic grenade, a sniper rifle, anti-armor, pistol, and a blaster rifle. This is sort of your heavy duty class, and every faction gets these. It uh, really makes getting the points really worth it. Because you're sort of a jack-of-all-trades with some really powerful equipment. Now, these are fairly powerful units, uh, which a lot of people may actually sort of complain about. You know, well, why is that so much power? But that's sort of the point. There's different tiers to it, and you got to work up to it. Uh, and coordination is going to help you get over this a lot, as you can see the nice shield effects there. So let's switch over to our anti-armor, and uh, we're going to use that to break that. Switch to our pistol. Eh, maybe use that. Switch to our sniper rifle here. Take out that guy. There we go. But yeah, overall, I believe that the uh, the addition of the assault or the heavy trooper is much better than a supporting role, which, while good, wasn't exactly the best. Now let's take a look at another map, and then we'll finish off with the spot. All right, now as we can see again, the dual pistols with Django Fett. Yep, there we go, and uh, again, a nice, nice looking animation for it, uh, especially for this game. Really makes him uh, a good character, and of course he has the improved plasma flying from his jetpack, which lasts a hell of a lot longer, uh, really appropriate for a character like him, who really shouldn't have had such a small limited jetpack. Uh, I believe this makes him an extremely formidable foe, uh, the dual razors. Uh, of course, the wrist rockets fire fa faster and farther, just like all weapons, which makes them good. And he has a poison dart, uh, which we're going to check out as soon as we find a clone. So let's sort of just... Uh, it just has a regular zoom in. Kind of wondering how long this works, but that's fine. So let's test this out right there. I think I fired it, so I'm not really sure what else I can do. So let's take a look at the new flamethrower mechanic. It's a secondary weapon that you hold, and as you can see, it has a brilliant animation. Uh, you gotta click and hold to fire it, which makes it a little bit more strategic in play, and it burns through its ammo really quickly, but it is very, very strong. Uh, of course, I no longer have the little snipery pistol kind of thing that I previously had, but... And... Oh no. Oh, there we go. Takes a little bit longer to recharge my jetpack, as this character is all characters, but as you can see, I can come in and wreck an area fairly quickly as him. The dual pistols overheat really fast, but they do a lot of damage, as does the flamethrower. So if you if you were able to jump in and get on a crowd, you'd, you'd really do a lot as him, but let's, uh, let's pretend he was a little bit busy. He couldn't come and help. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and I hope you check out this mod. It's awesome. I know it's an older game. I am covering a lot of older games, but I think that uh, having updated modern tutorials is something that uh, just needs to be spread around to get these mods, uh, bring a little bit of life into them, you know, get, get people playing them. So I hope you enjoy um, the mod. Check it out for yourself. It's a ton of fun. It really brings back such a classic game, and this works perfectly with the Steam version. 
Uh, one word of warning, if you have any problems with installing the mod, uh, you're going to need to verify the integrity of the cache of the game and reinstall both the conversion pack and then BFX. So just be aware of that if you're having any trouble. Uh, help me out in the comments below. Uh, consider giving me a subscription uh, to check out more of my content. I do a lot of modding things and I do a little bit of uh, gameplay, but it's uh, really terrible. Uh, I would recommend you watch it if you like facepalming a whole bunch. Uh, and yeah, I've been Zul. Have an excellent day.